I got American Toad. Now I've shown Baby Toads. Toads in this. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, this guy is about half grown, and man, this guy's a peer. <laughs> Not like my other one. At home. Are you serious? Okay, I'll think I can do this with. I'll put you back. I'll put you back. So, bye guys. I haven't caught a toad that big. Hey guys, it's Jack here, and I caught this absolutely incredible snake. It's the biggest snake I've ever caught. It's a giant northern water snake. Have you ever seen a water snake that's like a meter and a half long? He is so smelly. Jeez. Um, and I just pursued him. Um, eventually, he caught him, but I'm so glad I did get bit because look at the size of that head. Well, and, and, yeah, this guy's amazing. This is, this is like a rat snake sized water snake. It's pretty incredible that a snake that usually is only about as big as the ones I've showed you in previous videos can grow to be this big. So, bye. It's called a garter snake. It's out around here. It's a common garter snake, I believe. Yeah, it's a common. Um, it's really, really a beauty. Um, now, these guys are the most widely... Well, most widely distributed snake in North America. If not the most widely distributed reptile in North America. This guy's a biter. Um, um, a very well-known animal um, that eats fish and frogs. Frogs mainly. Oh! Okay, frogs mainly, so yeah. Cool animal and great catch. So, see ya. Hey guys, it's Jack here. I'm so excited. I'm in Frontenac Park. I found a frog I've been looking for for a long time. It's a wood frog. Oh my god. Now this is a terrestrial ranidae species, which is the family of like bullfrogs and leopard frogs. But this one's a fully terrestrial species. And I've always wanted to see one of these. And finally I found one, which is so cool. Now these guys are the most widely distributed frog in the, in the in the world I think um these guys live all the way up to like like the arctic for one reason <laughs> they can survive the winters by literally freezing and basically dying which is pretty cool there there he goes bye bye wood hey guys it's Jack here I'm so excited I haven't caught one of these in years it's a milk snake so cool um Milk snakes are. Is he gonna bite me? Please don't bite me. Please don't bite me. Okay. Um. These guys. Um. Are. are oh. What are you doing? Um. These guys are a beautiful constrictor snake that are called milk snakes because there was a legend that these guys would actually bite onto others. Of course, that's not true. But let me get my snake out. Oh. Whoa. This guy's a face biter. Okay. Um. And yeah, these guys are sometimes triangular in color to mimic the poisonous coral snake. Um, and oh god, he pooed and peed on me. <laughs> um, so yeah, bye. See where you found him? I found him under a rock. I was pooing on him. Hey guys, it's Jack here. I can't believe what I just found. I found a black rat snake. I've been looking for these for years. Ow! Jeez. Um, this guy's absolutely beautiful. Um, Hold him up. Hold him up. Um, here he is. He's a pretty small one. But I've never... Whoa! 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 I've never caught one of these guys before, and I... I always doubt myself that I'd ever catch one, but here we have a black rat snake. It's a beautiful
beautiful animal. Um, it's the largest snake we have here in Canada. Whoa. Um, it's a arboreal species. It's a type of rat snake. It's really beautiful. I can't believe I found this. Now, time to see it. POV time. Go. I've never caught one of these guys before. I can't believe they caught a black rat snake. This this snake is a very rare snake. Yeah, is, it, is the POV still on? Oh yeah, it is. Look at this. Very whoa. Very jerry snake. It's just staying right there. Mm -hmm. If someone else had discovered it, he might be hurt. So. I can't believe I found. This snake is one of the rarest reptiles we have in Ontario. It just is just sitting there. I can tell it's a black rat snake because, well, it it's, it's got smooth scales. This guy is uh, about a meter long. It's about half grown. I thought he, it, when he bit me, he's got to hold on. This guy's acting more like a war snake than a black rat. We're at the very northern extent of their range here. I, I'm almost crying. This is something I've been wanting to catch since I was like four years old. And I finally fulfilled... I dream of catching the black rat snake. All right, hey guys, it's Jack here. We got this little frog recently metamorphosized. You can tell because it's still God's tail. It's a bullfrog. It's really cute looking. Um, can, and another way you can tell it recently metamorphosized is because of the shape of its head, and it's not completely formed, but pretty cool. And yeah, uh, beware of more creatures. See you later. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, it's Doc here. And as you can see, I've got a painted turtle right in my hand. Now, I've shown painted turtles. This is the third time I think I've shown it on my channel. But I want to go really deep into what painted turtles are all about. Painted turtles are the most common turtle in North America. They are pretty well known for their beautiful color. Pretty beautiful pl plastron and around the claws. Um, this is one, this is a type of pond turtle. Um, what's cool about this species and a lot of other pond turtles is they lay their eggs in the fall. So, when the babies hatch, if they go outside, they'll die. So they overwinter about two days after they hatch. And they literally freeze. But they're in a sort of suspended animation, kind of like a wood frog. Um, and then, and then, and then the spring, they come out, and that's when they take their first time. Now these guys, they're pond turtles, so they're more terrestrial than stink pots. Um, um, the way you can tell if it's a male or female, this goes with most turtles and tortoises. Um, I can tell this is a female because she's got a a flat carapace. I mean, it's plastron. Say it again. A flat plastron. Um, now... A male would have a concave plastron so it could mount on the female for mating. Um, another way you can tell, this is in painted turtles especially, is the length of the claws. Males have extremely long claws uh, that go like, are like twice this length. Um, and females have short ones. So, I guess bye. It's a cool turtle.
and hope you enjoy. Okay, let me get some B-roll. <clears throat> oh, God. He smells. He has this one thing that, see that goop? What's that? I don't know what it is. I guess he put musk on itself. So, yeah. And the B-roll. Okay, now put him back. <laughs> 